Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here. Today the Tracy Reed Designs creative team is sharing a fun and super festive YouTube hop featuring Tracy Reed's brand new collection called Festive. And today I thought I would do a layout using this gorgeous Christmas tree album file. And so originally the file is designed to create a mini album of sorts, but I decided to incorporate it for Christmas Day in my 2022 album. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that today. First, I had a, um, I had the back of day 24. And so I'm going to do this page uh, for the journaling and just as a fun little filler page. So I went into the 6x8 pattern papers and the 6x8 uh, signatures and printed these two out. Uh, the Christmas tree one to go on top of the plaid. And absolutely, I think that it's safe to say that the theme for this layout is the Christmas tree. <laughs> And uh, so that's my supporting character here uh, because, of course, the main event of Christmas Day is gathering around the Christmas tree and opening all the presents. So in addition to uh, printing these pages and pulling them all together here for the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, I've printed a variety of photos from that day. I think the size is about two and a half by three and a half for each photo. And then I printed the the Christmas tree, uh, the individual trees that sort of flip out or uh, slide out. I printed those using the different pattern papers from the collection. And I did size them down just a little bit in the Silhouette Studio uh, so that they would fit better on a seven by eight and a quarter inch page. And so you can see how the, the biggest tree there fits nicely and it left me a little bit of room for the Christmas Day title. So I'm gonna uh, put all these in the album by using this handy dandy little punched hole it's inside the star topper and um, I'm gonna look here in my stash to see if there's some cute little embellishments that can also go in this tie um, I'm just using two strands of red twine to tie those all together and then each one can swivel out to show the different photos from that day. And what I do for my photos on Christmas Day, I try to get pictures of each person opening their presents. Uh, and then once I have that, I put the camera down and enjoy the rest of the present opening events. Um, and then I also, of course, took photos from our Christmas breakfast and our Christmas dinner. They won't all go here, but I left myself some choices. I ended up adding this little green wooden star. I was gonna add another little charm, but the twine was too thick. <laughs> um, one thing I like to do every year when the the rolls of twine show up for Christmas wrapping, I, I like to purchase those because they are a bit thicker than Baker's twine. And so that's what I'm using here. It was probably from Target um, at some point or another. And this is, I've mentioned this before, my new favorite way to tie tags, <laughs> um, to pull all the strands through, tie them in a knot close to the tag, or in this case, close to the Christmas tree, and then fray those ends a little bit. It's just a cute little texture and that will probably stick up out of the album um, after it's all done and that'll be a cute little added extra texture too. So on the first two little trees I just added one photo. On the second to last one I had enough room for two so that was fun and then the last tree gets three photos 
and I let them all kind of go off of the tree a little bit. And I have to say that this is a totally genius and amazing idea for incorporating more Christmas photos into your album. I hope that this inspires you. It definitely has me excited. I think this is my favorite Christmas Day layout to date out of 15, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> um, but it's so fun to have the interactive element and the element of surprise and definitely including the um, photos of each person on that magical day and then the fun part is just going in and adding some embellishments from the kit some of the word strips the little stamp elements and banners and just little fun things like that this cute little star and I love how everything sort of peeks out from each layer and then when you're looking at it you can um, turn the pages turn the little tree pieces individually and take it all in just one at a time I'm gonna do one last thing here and add some enamel dots around the page and onto each of the little embellishment pieces here. And um, thank you so much for joining us on the hop today. I hope that you will check out the other contributors. I will have everyone linked below so that you can hop along and check out all the gorgeous inspiration with the festive collection. I also, just a programming note, I do have days 23 and 24 yet to share with you from this album along with a full walkthrough and I will be doing that next Monday and Tuesday and then hallelujah next week starts December daily on December 1. I'm so excited to share it all with you and I hope you're ready to follow along too. I'll see you back here then. Have a great weekend. Have a great Thanksgiving everyone. Bye-bye.